Hurricane Nate is expected to make landfall on the U.S. Central Gulf Coast in the coming hours as a Category 2 hurricane. The National Hurricane Center in Miami said Nate's top sustained winds have recently risen to 90 miles per hour, and the core is now about 180 miles south-southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River. Nate is accelerating to 26 miles per hour and headed north-northwest on a course expected to take it onto the Central Gulf Coast on Saturday night. Forecasters said the hurricane force winds extend out up to 35 miles, mainly to the east of the eye of the storm. A state of emergency has been declared across parts of the U.S. as Hurricane Nate hurdles towards the Gulf Coast. Nate has already killed at least 21 people in Central America. Tropical storm damage A man rose on a boat in a flooded street in Minatitlan, South Veracruz, Mexico EPA in addition to hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings already in place along a wide stretch of Gulf Coast, a new tropical storm warning has been issued in the Florida Panhandle from east of the Okaloosa-Walton County line to Indian Pass, Florida. Louisiana and Mississippi officials declared states of emergency, and Louisiana ordered some people to evacuate coastal areas and barrier islands ahead of Nate's expected landfall. The National Hurricane Center in Miami projected that Nate would brush by the southeast tip of Louisiana, near the mouth of the Mississippi River, around 7 p.m. on Saturday 1 a.m. UK time. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said he spoke with President Donald Trump on Saturday morning. A view of a sinkhole on the street after the passage of Tropical Storm Nate in San Juan del Sars Bay in Rivas, 140 KMS West Managua, Nicaragua EPA, he assured me that LA would have all the assistance we need as we prepare for Nate, the governor posted on Twitter. A hurricane warning is in effect from Grand Isle, Louisiana, to the Alabama-Florida border and also for metropolitan New Orleans and nearby Lake Pontchartrain. Tropical storm warnings extended west of Grand Isle to Morgan City, Louisiana, and around Lake Marapas and east of the Alabama-Florida border to the Okaloosa-Walton County line in the Florida Panhandle. State of emergency declared in U.S. as hurricane hurdles towards coast in Louisiana, Mr. Edwards mobilized 1,300 National Guard troops, some headed to New Orleans to monitor the fragile pumping system there. The Hurricane Center warned that Nate could raise sea levels by 4 feet to 7 feet from Morgan City, Louisiana, to the Alabama-Florida border. It had already caused deadly flooding in much of Central America. A White House statement said Mr. Trump has authorized the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Department of Homeland Security to coordinate all federal disaster relief efforts.